hello welcome to another episode of coming up millhouse and today we are talking about season five episode four it's called rosebud and it's a play on the movie citizen kane where of course we know at the beginning he's like rosebud and he drops a snow globe and he was talking about his sled spoiler alerts that movie was made in the 40s <laughs> so i'm not too worried spoiler about that. alert yeah <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so Burns, he has a version of his rosebud sled, but it's not a sled. It is <laughs> his teddy bear from when he was a little kid. Bobo. Called Bobo, that's right. And it disappeared for many years, but it turns up in the Simpsons' house, and Burns wants it. And he will stop at nothing to get it, and there's some good stuff there. We will talk about that. So let's kick it off with our lines. What is your first line? Oh, it's you. My bed pans under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> under the pillow for crying out Because that's a useful place. Yeah, to keep that's your where you put pan. your bed pan. Oh, boy. And Mr. Burns was in bed. That was one of the first lines of the yeah. episode. And Smithers comes in because Burns is crying out in his sleep about Bobo, Bobo. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, it's you. My bed pans under my pillow. <laughs> Ew. 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 What about you? Alright, my first line is a Smithers line, and it's, I have some sad news to report. A uh, small puppy, not unlike Lassie, was just run over in the parking lot. Now for the comedy stylings of Homer Simpson! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so there's this uh, um, birthday party for Burns, and Homer's buffooning it in the uh, nuclear plant, and Burns thinks he's doing comedy when he's just goofing up. And so he hires Homer to do comedy at his party, and that's how the lead-in is. Uh, Smithers comes out, and that's what he tells the audience. Yes. That Homer's expected to go out and make a laugh after that. <laughs> it didn't go over well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. Uh, we're about to... Moldy? Old? I'm going to get something to eat! That was Homer. That was Homer, yeah. That, I believe, yeah. um, is one of the lines that you have repeated over the past yeah. 20 years as well. So I'm not of kind of why I had to put it Moldy? down. Moldy? Old? I'm going to get something I'm going to get something to eat. <laughs> it's a classic. It's a classic line. Well, it's funny you, you say that line because my second line kind of segues into that. Uh -huh. And the line is... Mmm, 64 slices of American oh, cheese. Gross. 64, 63, time shift. Two, one. Marge, I think I'm going <laughs> blind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so birds and, and uh, smithers are trying to break in the steel bobo, and instead that's what they get greeted to, and... They're, they're hanging on the ceiling, and Homer's got a big stack of cheese, and he sits up all my Homer. Insane. Homer, Homer, <laughs> Homer. Hey. Um, I have an extra bonus line that was Flanders that I have to throw out there. That Homer was practicing for his comedy <laughs> skit at Burns' party, and so he sees Flanders out clipping hedges, and he says... Um, you smell like manure, Flanders, and Flanders lying back was, Thanks for the nose news, neighbor! <laughs> <laughs> I better cancel that dinner party tonight yes. or something like that. Right. <laughs> good, uh, stuff. good stuff. In good stuff. Lots of good lines. Uh -huh. What about your scene. favorite scene? So my favorite scene is the journey of Bobo. Mm -hmm. So they actually show... Where Bobo ended up when Burns as a little kid discarded Bobo to get in the billionaire's car and drive away with him. We find out that uh, Bobo gets picked up by Lindbergh, flies across the Atlantic, gets thrown to Hitler in Berlin. Hitler's got it, and then at the end of the war, Berlin's falling. This is all your fault. And Hitler throws it at somewhere, and it ends up in the Arctic, and they get ice. They, like, there's an ice expedition to get ice to take to the Quickie Mart, and that's how Bobo ends up in the Simpsons' house. Mm -hmm. And so the whole journey of Bobo, he, he just, yes. he was cool. He, he saw a lot of history. He did. He absolutely <laughs> did. 
What about <laughs> your scene? Uh, well, you kind of alluded to all of the Homer shenanigans, but people just laugh at Homer throughout the plant and um, <laughs> the scenes that are showing his buffoonery make me laugh every time. And specifically, my favorite scene is um, he's trying to get the coat hanger out of his shirt and they're cracking up at that and he's like oh the one in my pants isn't any better and he's got coat hangers in his shirt and then in his butt crack too because <laughs> he was too stupid to take him out before he put right. his clothes on yeah, just to, that's a good scene yeah i love that scene too. i also like the fact that the ramones show up in this episode too so mm -hmm. And then Burns is like, have the Rolling Stones kill. <laughs> Smithers is like, but that's not. Just do it. <laughs> All right. Takes us to winners and losers. How do you want to do that this week? Um, Let's go with your winner. My winner is the Frink Robot. Mm. <laughs> so uh, Smithers is trying to cheer Burns up and nothing's working. And Professor Frink has a robot bear, and he thinks for some reason that's going to make Burns happy. But instead, the bear, like, won't respond to the remote control and, like, runs through the wall to get away. And it says, no, bear want to live, and it runs away. <laughs> so I think, you know, the bear was fi figured out a way that the remote control didn't work anymore, and it got away, and it wants to live. So I'm going to, in my imagination... That bear got off the premises and it's out having adventures. Yep. And, you know, it, it so got it's the, the winner. It got the live. So it's the winner. What do you got? Smithers. I'm going with Smithers <laughs> for this episode because he got to dress up as a bear and get a hug, kind of, from Monty Burns, which probably made Smithers day um, to at least sit on his lap and kind of go for some attention as Bobo. And then. He also got to be on TV because Monty Burns took over the um, television stations and so they were coming up with their own content and Smithers was <laughs> in some of those TV episodes. And then my top reason is because we segue into the future of Bobo and Smithers has been immortalized as a robotic dog. 10 billion years or whatever, whatever. into the future. <laughs> and so Monty has kept him mm -hmm. as his companion for many a year. Yep, he got to live on. Mm -hmm. I don't know how fun it would be to be a robot dog, but nope. he got to live. Nope. <laughs> he seemed to be having a pretty good time, so I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Right. What, what if, about your loser? My loser is the Ice Expedition guy. <laughs> <It's> my loser. <laughs> is that your loser? <laughs> As he goes into the quickie bart, he's like, you got to start selling this for more than $4 a bag. We lost four guys on this expedition. For a dollar a bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a, for a dollar a bag. We lost four guys on oh, this expedition. Yep. <laughs> and then Apu's like, if you know a better way to get ice, I'd like to hear it or something like that. As my losers as well. So. All right, we were we we as uh, uh, simpatico yep. on this week, so mm -hmm. loser. But it was pretty obvious because that would not be a great job to no. have dying for dollar bag guys. Nope. nope. I mean, there were some other <laughs> options there, but we'll go with that. Yeah. Well, while we're here and we got our illustrious Vera on the screen, I wanted to point out a little something we found today. We got our very own can of Duff. Here it is, Duff. Duff Power Drink. Power Drink. We uh, ended up at Five Below when they had them there, and we had to get it to showcase on the show today. So there's that. This is a la <laughs> orange sparkling uh, beverage. Mm -hmm. So get your own cold Duff. You can get a cold Duff right there. There, there it is. There you go. So <laughs> if you appreciated this episode, give us a thumbs up. Write some comments below and be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button on YouTube. Thanks right. for watching and until next time, Jimmy Jillikers! Jillikers!